Today, myself and my robotic companion Guido are going to be forcing ragdolls to compete in the ultimate survival death run, 1,000 feet in the air. I've already forced my ragdoll friend Randy to construct a staircase leading 1,000 feet into the air, leading straight into the heavens. From there, he and his family will then compete in the death run to see who is the most superior member of the family. Will it be cousin number one, cousin number two, cousin number three, cousin 257, cousin 250, 258. <laughs> ah, Randy! Oh my gosh, dude, jeez! You just scared the heck out of me. You've got to warn me before you scream out in agony, okay? In fact, what are you so upset about? What is your problem this time, man? Is it the fact that I just made you construct a staircase leading 1,000 feet into the air? Or are you just being a wuss again? Well, Guido, don't blame me. This was your idea in the first place. This was your idea to construct this giant death run 1,000 feet into the air. No, yeah, I'm wrong. Yeah, it was completely my idea. But anyway, take a look at this bad boy. Wait, where is my death run? Randy? 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 What have you done with my obstacle course? It was supposed to be here two days ago, and now it's nowhere to be seen. Oh, sorry, I've got a quick phone call. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, but can't we just, yeah, but can we not, okay, fine, 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 I'll, I'll let them all know, you've got to have a lot of disappointed adventurers, okay, uh, sorry, everyone watching at home who wanted to watch Randy and his family completely annihilate themselves 1,000 feet in the air, um, it turns out that the delivery date is actually next week. So, thank you to everyone for tuning in. I'm so sorry that's gonna end on a little bit of a disappointing note, but, uh, yeah, unfortunately, the death run doesn't arrive till next week. So, uh, thank you to everyone for tuning in. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit the like button. Wait, what? Guida? Oh my gosh, okay, now, now you are thinking correctly, Guida. Now, you're getting on my level. So not only did we force Randy to create this giant staircase leading 1,000 feet into the air, we are also going to force him to make a brand new death run from scratch. What, Randy, Randy, will you quit complaining? Okay, just do what we pay you for. Oh, you're right, Guido. We don't pay him for anything. Okay, Randy, the first thing I want you to make is a little subsection here, a small path which is going to be leading ahead to the first obstacle. A slightly smaller path. Ooh, scary. From here, the competitors are going to have a choice. They can either diverge from the path and go for the easier route all the way to the right here, which will lead around the obstacle in the center, or they can be brave. They can take on... The Stepping Stones of Destiny. These things are carefully placed stones, which- Oh my gosh, Randy! Okay, sorry. Sorry, dude. I mean, you've got experience. You've got to see if it works anyhow. So, uh, yep. It looks like- It looks like that part of the obstacle course works. The death part. Well, at least that proves that our stepping stones are quite effective. So, as I said, this is the first alternate route. They can either go across the stepping stones or gently walk around the corner all the way to the right. The stepping stones are probably going to be a lot faster, but obviously this section here is much safer. Then the path is going to widen back out a little bit and be ready for our next obstacle. It's a giant hammer. Now, this thing isn't swinging completely onto the path so there is a little small area here which can be used for safety but if you nudge yourselves just a little bit to the left well this is gonna happen <laughs> Sorry, Randy. I mean, when you signed up for the testing, you knew that you'd be putting your body in danger. Once you get past the hammer, you then have to take on this forest of poles. I know, Guida. That's quite a nice way to explain it. Anyway, these things are going to spin at a very fast rate indeed. One wrong step. Even nudging these things by a hair could be enough to send you rocketing off the platform. Yeah, that's what I call rocketing. Then we're going to have our very first trap section. Going to the left is the, the the correct way to go. That's definitely the best way to go because on the other side, if our contestants mistakenly go this way, we are going to have a bunch of mines. We are going to have at least 10 mines placed carefully within this section here. 
Guido, where am I getting the money for this? Well, you know, I not only have access to Randy's full family, I also have access to his full bank account. Shh, don't tell him. Our contestants must then travel downhill where they will meet the slippery slopes. These are going to be slopes going downhill, which obviously are going to be very slippery because, well, they've got giant gaps in them. If the competitors make the wrong move on these stairs, they could see themselves plummeting down to the abyss below. In fact, Randy, why don't you give everyone an example? Well, I want you to, Randy. Whee! Bye bye! After that, we're going to bridge off and provide a little square area here which rotates round to the right on the corner. Because in the center here is going to be a cannon which targets ragdolls. Now, Guido, there is a tiny little bit of a problem here. Well, remember when I said we had an infinite budget? You know, we could literally create whatever we wanted because money wasn't a problem because we, uh, had access to Randy's bank account? Yeah, well, uh, we've had to skimp out on ammunition a bit here. We couldn't afford it. We couldn't afford actual lasers or bullets, so I've had to get creative. Yep. That is literally Randy's family soaring through the air. And as you're gonna see with our little tester buddy here, as soon as it releases, it targets the ragdolls and tries to fire at them. Unfortunately, he doesn't look like he's a very good shot. Maybe it's just Randy's family are just really overweight, so they're dropping super quickly. Um, let's move him up this way. Maybe he'll have a better shot on... No, we need to move this guy a little bit higher. So I've actually positioned it on the other side here. Let's see if they actually have the height this time to... No, they're definitely still hitting the wall. Um, maybe once every so often one will make it over the wall or something. There we go. That looks like it's working a little bit better. He could use a little bit better accuracy. Okay, that ought to do it. Then Guido, what I've built here is called the pillar jump. A kind of modification on our previous stepping stone design. This is going to slalom left and right, zigzagging along the way. And the only unfortunate thing for these ragdolls, even though this is probably- Oh my gosh. Even though this is probably the last little objective for them to get to before I reveal their prize. The only unfortunate thing is that, well, there is a black hole positioned directly beneath it. So if they happen to fall off, case in point by Randy here, they will go plummeting into the black hole. Who are these guys? Oh my gosh, I think it's the ammunition from the, uh, from the cannon there. It's actually falling into the black hole. So by the end of this objective, we are probably going to have a mass of ragdolls collecting in this black hole here. So that is why it's extremely extremely important for these ragdolls to make it across this final balance beam. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. So Guido, I was thinking we should probably give these guys a prize for completing the ultimate death run. It's just every idea I have is deadly recently. I don't know what's gotten into me. I just feel like Every time I want to come up with a new idea, someone, at least one person, has to die. I don't know, I should probably talk to a psychiatrist or something, but I was just wondering if you had any ideas for anything that we could give them in return for completing this death run. <laughs> Money, money, that's that's a good one, dude. <laughs> you keep living in your fantasy dream world, okay? No, I was thinking of everyone's favorite, a flag. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> Sorry, money, that is, that is a good one. Anyway, Randy, I think it's time. Let's go ahead and get your family involved. You know, all 400 of them? So Guido, it looks like our competitors are ready down there. I've got them all positioned, ready and raring to go. I've also gone ahead and given Randy his own personal viewing platform just so he can have the best seat in the house for when he watches his family perish. I think everything is finally in place and we can finally begin the death run. Make sure you guys let me know in the comment section down below which one of these competitors do you have in your mind and are betting on winning. Personally, I think yellow will win. Um, yeah, just one of the yellow characters. The competitors are lined up and ready. Three, two, one, go. Oh, Guido, come on. 
Come on, dude. You can't just be so unprofessional like that. Okay, we'll just wait a second for him to come back. Oh, geez, that was quick. Did you go in the corner or something? Go! Here come the competitors. They've spread out. And let's... Is someone Naruto running down there? Do you see that? Okay, what are they going to do? One of them's just been launched. Oh, it's the cannons. It looks like they're all figuring out what to do, which way to go. Some of them are trying to make a start, but none of them can move until Red makes his way across the balance beam. It's nice to see them all carefully making their way across, and look at them go. Now they're going to, into a full sprint here. Now they've all decided to opt for the safer route, the cowards. Let's see if this hammer gets any victims. No, Red has managed to push through, but he's gone back because he wants to die. No? Oh, white has fallen into the poles. Blue has fallen into the poles. It looks like Red is very confused here as to what to do. Let's see how many competitors are remaining. They're all kind of gently figuring their way around here, but no one so far has managed to surpass through the uh, the pole forest here. It looks like they're all just gently negotiating across the, uh, the, the little balance beam there. Oh, there goes Purple. Purple is whizzing through, and now he's gently... Oh my god! <laughs> Red just ran directly into that pearl. Looks like purple's making a go of it, but I think no He didn't manage to get squished, but he's decided to go back. He's decided. Nope. He's going back again Green just tripped over. What is purple doing? I think purple is having some kind of crisis He doesn't want to go to the rotating poles, but he doesn't want to go to the hammer So he's just running back and forth. Let's see how the rest of the oh my gosh They have been totally thinned out. Look at this. There's been a mess culling of the ragdolls here. Oh, purple just fell there. No one so far has managed to make it through the pole forest. So what I've had to do is have Randy step in and employ more family members to see if they can make it back through. But all of them are just running towards the poles. But here we go. They're actually managing to make a move. Where did that guy come from? Either way, they are going down the slippery stairs. Let's see if anyone can make it happen. It looked like Blue was thinking about it, but has decided to run the opposite way. And now they're just going back and forth, just running straight into the poles. What the heck, guys? Someone has to make the has to make the jump. Someone has to dare themselves to be brave enough to get down the slippery steps. And here comes Yellow. Yellow has decided against it. No, Yellow's going again. Yellow has decided against it. Yellow is definitely going for it this time, and they've made it through. So they will be the first person taking on the cannon. Let's see if they can make their way across. Already the cannon is firing at him, and Yellow is going for it. We could see Yellow making it all the way across here. Yellow might be the victor. I did say from the... Oh gosh, there goes Yellow, right? I think that was Yellow. Yellow did say from the start that they... I, I, well, I did say from the start that Yellow was going to be the one to pull off the victory. But right now, it looks like people are undecided of which way to go. Oh my gosh, Yellow's still alive! Yellow is back and they've just run straight back up here. Okay, he really needs to make a go of it here. He seriously needs to run around and get the rest of it done. But right now, it looks like he's just getting an Instagram shot or something. We still have a bunch of competitors totally stuck on this first portion of the Sky Death Run. It looks like they're all running back and kind of being very confused as to what to do. I think Yellow just ran into the poles there. Look, Randy, I'm gonna be honest with you. It looks like none of the competitors, none of your dumb family are actually making it to the end. So, you are going to have to get involved. Randy, it's up to you to win the death run. Let's see if Randy can do it. He's just got to shuffle by all his buddies here. Look at him go. <laughs> He's just plowing them down. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the most polite way of shoving through them as could potentially be possible. Okay, everyone move. I'm going to take on the stepping stones. There's one. There's two. And I think you should be able to just, yes, just run through the rest here. Okay, yellow is very confused. I'm just going to nudge him out the way there. There we go. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, he almost made it. But Randy is going to make it. Now it's through the pole forest where now bodies and corpses are littering the floor. Hopefully he can make it through. Hopefully he doesn't just trip over. He's doing it. He's doing it. He made it straight through. Now it's time for him to take on the, uh, the the slippery steps here. Let's see if he can just move green out the way. There we go. Nice and politely. And he's making it. He's sprinting down. He's going for it. The cannon is in position, but it looks like it's firing at the other ragdolls. So they're distracted. Now it's time for Randy to just make his way around the corner. Watch out for these bodies right here. And just carefully nudge himself along the pillar jumps. And bada boom. Easy peasy. Randy has won it on his first attempt. Go ahead 
ahead and accept your prize, Randy, the shiny flag. It looks like no one is really making an attempt at getting past it all. Everyone is just... What is even going on here? Nobody, Guida, has made it to this section of the level. Yeah, I guess, I guess there are some things that could scare them, like that giant black hole, the cannon over there, which is literally blasting people at the speed of light, or maybe it was the staircase that had giant holes in them, suspended 1,000 feet off the ground. Yeah, Randy, your family aren't dumb. They're probably quite smart.